Yeah, it came out uh, eight pounds, two ounces, uh, 22 inches. Yeah, big boy. What, uh, what time, uh, when, when was he born? Uh, 12, 28. Okay. Mid, like, uh, after, like in the noon? Like noon uh, no, yeah. past midnight. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Saturday or Friday? Or what day was it? Uh, it technically be Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Very cool. How did you meet your wife? Was it in college? Uh, yeah, we met in college and then, uh, just, yeah, just all throughout college and then, uh, yeah, fortunate enough to, uh, I have a beautiful child now, so it's been awesome. Did you did you want to stay and like play, or and did Tortorell come up to you and say, "Hey, go be with your wife"? Uh, yeah, I kind of had a discussion with him, like, "Hey, uh, you know, my wife is probably gonna be going into labor here pretty soon," and uh, no, he was great about it. He said, "You know." You be with your family, you know, that's the most important. So, uh, you know, I was happy that he was able to, you know, kind of let me go and see them because obviously, you know, there's so much stuff, you know, in the, in the league. You're always so busy that uh, you don't usually get that time. So it was nice to have, you know, especially, you know, two or three days off to kind of be there for my wife and, you know, our beautiful boy. So, yeah. What is it like coming back here now that your dad, like, have a baby to do? <laughs> so. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I think I was running on a a little bit of adrenaline for uh, the three days I was down there because uh, pretty tired right now, but uh, that's all right. We got, uh, you know, we got a bus trip and then get some sleep tonight. So, how much sleep do you think you've gotten the last few days? I'm not entirely sure, but you know, not as much as I'd like, obviously. But uh, no, it was good. You know, I uh, I wanted to spend as much time with them as I could, and uh, you know, kind of help my wife, and you know, just like I said, just spend as much time as with him, you know, while I was there. So it was it was awesome. You're obviously working to you know establish yourself in the NHL this season. Was it tough at times to kind of keep your mind on that, given the fact that you had a kid on the way? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's always tough, kind of being away from your family, and uh, especially in you know this case, kind of. You know, going on the road and wondering whether she's gonna, you know, go into labor. Or, um, but uh, yeah, I'm just glad that uh, she's healthy, baby's healthy, and everything went well. Do you know if you're in lineup tomorrow? Or uh, I'm not entirely sure. Um, like I said, I just came here, practice. You know, I'm still kind of rolling through everything, but I'm not entirely sure. I haven't spoken to them yet. So probably haven't had much time to think about it with all that's going on. But yeah, exactly. Are these two games coming up the back to back? Oh, these are huge. Uh, they're they're against you know two you know top end talent opponents. So uh, you know, especially on the road, uh, I think you know our starts have been the thing that's kind of you know stopped us in previous games. So I think on the road against top two te top teams, uh, you need to get off to a hot start, kind of quiet the building down a little bit. You missed all the craziness. Were you able to watch any of the games? Yeah, I actually watched uh, both games. Uh, I mean, obviously not full games, but uh, here and there whenever you're sleeping and stuff. But uh, yeah, I watched both games and yeah. I, uh, I really liked what I saw. Like I said, the second uh, second game, the second and third period, I thought it kind of looked like a completely different team. Um, you know, just doing all the details. You know, playing smart, hard, making little plays, and kind of uh, playing as a five-man unit. So it's good to see. Have your uh, parents or relatives been able to come in and see the baby? Uh, yeah, her uh, her mom has been here. Uh, and then she's leaving in a couple days, but uh, no one else really. Uh, it's just kind of been hectic, so didn't want to overwhelm her with everyone. But uh, I'm sure once everything kind of gets settled down and stuff, we can uh, we'll have some more people visit. Uh, you know, just try to minimize the stress with her. So, have any of your teammates given you that advice? Ah, uh, here and there, you know, they always just say, you know, whatever you read or you know, look up or he said, they said, just throw it out the window, just <laughs> go with your instincts. You'll know what to do when yeah. you know he's here. And um, yeah, like I said, your instincts will take over. Seems like they're advising to just live the same way you play hockey, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Guess, what was it like, you know, starting to build something, trying to establish yourself, like you said, and then kind of taking steps away and then coming back, even if it was for such a wonderful event? Yeah, obviously, you know, especially in this game, like you got to be at such a high level of conditioning and stuff. So, um, you know, kind of doing that, it, it is kind of tough, uh, you know, because you're not getting, like I said, you know, as much sleep and you're, you're not really focused about yourself. Uh, you know, honestly, you're just more focused about, you know, my wife and the baby. So. Um, yeah, like I said, you know, we got a day here to uh, kind of recover a little bit, get some sleep. So hopefully, I feel uh, a lot better tomorrow. How did you feel? It looked like some of the drills they were really pushing the pace out there. How did you feel just getting back into things today? Uh, not bad. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little, you know, a little gas. But like I said, <laughs> you know, uh, I thought it, you know, was to be expected, obviously. But uh, yeah, like I said, I feel like. 
you know, I still feel like I'm in good shape, so I don't, I'm not concerned at that aspect, but uh, just need sleep. Right now. <laughs>